Hey guys, it's Redox. Welcome back to another Auto Chess mobile game. Thanks for joining me here once again, guys. And today we are going to go for the Gersus build. And what is the Gersus build? It's basically the undead build version of the Dota Auto Chess. And it's this logo right here. You can see that skull icon. In this game, the undead, they are called the Gersus. And when you have four different Gersus unit types on the board, every enemy unit on the board gets minus six armor. These Gersus units are pretty good. The Gersus Ranger being the most basic unit of its kind, and it's a, it's a hunter. So we're gonna start just comboing units with whatever we can here. I just got the extra Gersus there because of, of course I do want a two-star Gersus. This is still the second round, so you know I'm gonna be fine here. Both of my Gersus should be able to take down these three Trants. And for now, I am tempted to buy that Frost Knight. Should I buy the Frost Knight? Or do you have a bummer? I'll buy the Frost Knight for now. The reason why I bought the Frost Knight is because there is another Knight unit that stacks with the Knights here. Uh, which is the Skull Knight. I believe, or Evil Knight. And the Evil Knight is also an Agursus or an undead character. So they stack well together. I guess I'll buy another Frost Knight. Well, maybe I should have bought the Heaven Bomber because it seems like I got two Heaven Bombers here. Would have been nice to, you know, nice to get a two star Heaven Bomber right off the bat. But oh well, it's fine. I may end up losing this round. Uh, no, I should be okay. Yeah, I'll barely be okay here. Yeah, hopefully I get some items. Nope, not a single item. This, These neutral monsters, man, they trolled me. Not a single item. The other guys probably got an item. I just got unlucky there. Nice. We can get a two-star Frost Knight. That's really going to help. And we're not buying any of these other units here. I am not getting very lucky with my Gersus Rangers because these guys are pretty easy to find or should be easy to find and yeah not looking so good i might end up losing this round this guy already has the beast bonus here he's already getting plus 10 percent attack for all of his units but i do have a stronger two star frost knight so i'll be fine here since this guy only has one star units and this guy already quit fried fried He's grayed out. As you guys can see his name on the left hand side. This guy is not in the game anymore. He's already out of the game. He doesn't want to be playing here I guess. This round. Please can I get some more undead or Gersus characters please? Nope. More Frost Knights. Just not getting my luck here today guys. I, I should be getting at least one Evil Knight too. Because Evil Knights are pretty easy to find. But no Evil Knights do not want to come out. I guess this is what we're gonna get for now, and then I'll just, yeah, I guess I'll just put my two Frost Knights here. Um, I should still be able to win the second round. Assuming my opponents don't already have a crazy combo going on. This guy has no combo. His strongest unit is the Hell Knight at this moment. I still have a two-star Frost Knight. I probably should have put my Frost Knight more in the back, and it, but you know what? I, I knew I was gonna win this round here. Okay, so, so far we're looking good. I am on. I am going on to a win streak soon, if I keep winning more games. But please, can I get an Evil Knight and a Gersus Stranger? Please, more undead units. That's what I need to build my undead army, my Gersus army. And no, still no luck. And I don't want to reroll because it's a waste of gold. I want to bank on a lot of gold as much as I can. I guess I'll just buy another Frost Knight. Yeah, I don't want to buy any of these units, and I don't want to reroll, but I can level myself up. So I'm going to do that, because I'm not at 20 gold anyways. So I'm going to put my Frost Knights up in the front here. Let's do that. I got three Frost Knights and two Egersus Rangers. How cool is that? I should be able to beat this guy. He only has four units on the map. Two guys quit. Look, the other guy, El Hale, he's grayed out as well. Actually, I don't know if they—I don't know if this is a glitch, but I know if they're great, it means they disconnected. But they're still in the game. But I feel like there's only six of us playing right now. 
so I don't know what's going on. They might come back into the game, but they're currently grayed out. That's weird. This is a ranked game too. This is not a casual game. This is a ranked game, so I mean, people care about their ranks, right? But that's cool. We get a we get two two star frost knights, and frost knights are never bad to have anyway. So I'm glad I have them right now. But really, I'm really really getting unlucky with my um. Unfortunately, with my Gersus, my Undead, this is probably one of the most unluckiest unluckiest attempt at going for a Gersus combo. Huh. But uh, the extra Hell Knight did help me a bit there. This guy has a warrior composition. Look at all of his units are warriors. They're all, they all have this axe. But I should be able to beat this guy because all warriors means no damage. Warriors are just tanky and no damage. That's it. Yes, we got the second piece to the puzzle, which is this guy. And as you guys can see, he's an Agursus type, the evil knight. Just what I wanted. I'm going to buy another Frost Knight because I might as well try to get to a three-star Frost Knight. Um, and if I can get one more knight piece, that would be nice. I guess I will take out my Agursus Ranger because the Agursus Ranger by itself is a pretty weak unit. I'm actually having a... A knight army composition here, which is pretty, pretty, pretty sick actually, because knights are pretty good. And yeah, this guy disconnected, fried. The El Hale guy came back. Yeah, he's back. So there's seven players in the game, and one guy definitely out of the game. This guy, fried. He doesn't really count. He's been disconnected for a while. So, well, basically having seven players in the game is still like having eight players. And uh, if I win this game, I think I'll actually hit bishop rank. So this is maybe the type of deck to go for when you want to hit bishop. Why not? But I'm just getting very unlucky unless I choose to roll. And I could level myself up here to 6. But then I lose my bonus, my interest bonus, because I'm just at 30 gold right now. So I'll be under the 30 gold if I level myself up. But you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to level myself up. I want to put an extra unit on the board. I am on a win streak, right? So I'll put another Frost Knight. I got five knights on the board. And this guy is the all warrior guy. So I should be able to beat him. He does have six warriors now. He does have the beast bonus as well. Plus 10% attack for all of his units. Ew, not looking good. Yeah. No, actually, we are going to barely win. That was very surprising. I was going to say barely lose. My Frost Knights are doing a lot of damage. And my Evil Knight didn't do very much. My Hell Knight did more than the Evil Knight. But that's expected because demons do a lot of damage. That's another Frost Knight. So one more Frost Knight. I have a three-star Frost Knight already. I have not lost a single point in health. I just realized I'm having a perfect game. I have 100 health right now, guys. But knight units are very strong. And that's why I, I like to always go for them when I can. This is the rock golem stage. I am going to take you out, Igurus' Ranger, put in another frost knight. Because rock golems are tanky as heck. So, oh well, yeah, I better put my tankier knights in the front. Because frost knights have a range. These two guys are melee. They're more of a tanky... Variant and Frost Knights, you're supposed to kind of keep them in the back. They're kind of like Rangers. But Frost Knights are like stronger versions of Rangers. So they can kind of take some hits to the face before going down. And I'm just whopping everybody right now with these Frost Knights, man. These Frost Knights are pretty good. It seems like the four Frost Knights are doing the trick. I'm still on a perfect game. Maybe I'll just end up not losing a single health point. Defector. Okay. That's not... I do have a Glacier. This is a Glacier unit as well. I think I'll go for a Defector. So I get the Glacier bonus. I'm going to take out one Frost Knight. Now the reason why I did this is... Because... If you have two Glacier units on the board, all friendly Glacier clan have plus 35% attack speed. So all my Frost Knights and my Defector, this guy as well, will get a 35% attack speed bonus. The Defector, in my opinion, is a pretty ass unit. 
And the reason why I say that is because the Defector is more of like a support unit. He has a power where he's he turns a unit into a penguin for four seconds. And it's that's the only good thing about that unit. The attack, the DPS on, on the um, Defector is pretty atrocious. So the Defector is just really a support stun unit. And this is the first round that I lost. I'm surprised I just finally lost the round because... To be honest, my units aren't that good right now. They're like none of them are two stars. I don't really have a good synergy going on. I only have two bonuses. I have the glacier bonus. The demon bonus got can get um, screwed over if your opponent has a Witcher class, like my last guy. And I only have this one knight bonus. So I'm doing pretty well for myself at this moment with this type of unit composition. I have 50 gold in the bank. I could I could start rolling, but you know what? I am going to not roll because I've been on a massive win streak, so I'm still quite confident that I'm gonna be doing well. I'm gonna put these units in the back actually. And once again, I'm facing against the DC player, and that's a free win. I'll take that. Uh, and uh, eventually, he's at 30 health now, so he should probably get kicked out at some point pretty soon. And there won't be any more free wins from this guy. After he's gone. It'll be sad. I'll be sad once you're gone, Fried. You were my only other free free win streak gold. Haha. <laughs> Anyways. Just waiting for the other players. I mean this was like the fried guy. This guy doesn't even count. It's a free round, guys. So hopefully I get some more Gersus Undead units because please, yes, we finally got the third Gersus Ranger, making that uh, two-star Gersus finally. Thank you. And I am tempted to level myself up, which I am going to not do. No, I will do it. I'll do it. So I could put the Gersus Ranger and not take anyone else out. Okay, let's do that. Have my Hell Knight, Evil Knight, the tanks in the front, my Gersus at the back, and then my uh, three tile, three grid range Frost Knights in the middle. And we are doing really good right now. It is over for this guy. I don't want to buy any of these guys, so we're not. I'm just gonna wait. It would be nice if I get another Hell Knight so I can get a 2 star Hell Knight because I already have one sitting in the bench. I have two Hell Knights so getting a third piece would get me of course a 3 star or not sorry not a 3 star 2 star Hell Knight. And that's a Fallen Witcher. That is a pretty good demon unit. I like the Fallen Witcher better than the Hell Knights. I guess I mean do I need to reroll? Okay, why not? I'll reroll. Soul Reaper, that is the third piece to the Gersus Undead combo, so we are definitely buying you. But I'm not gonna put him on right now. Well, I guess I could. I should have. I should have replaced this Frost Knight, weak Frost Knight for the Soul Reaper. The Soul Reaper is an epic Gersus unit, and he's pretty good. He's pretty good, guys. Goes well with the Gersus. Goes well with the Shadow Devils. So I'm buying the Shadow Devils as well. And the reason why I say the Shadow Devil and the Soul Reaper goes well is because they're both Warlock classes. So if you have three different Warlock units, you get 15% lifesteal and spells and stuff like that. And this guy is... I barely lost this guy. He has a Glacier Army himself. So it seems like we are going for a sim very similar army composition or chess build. He's going for Glacier units like I am. These guys basically. I should have put my Soul Reaper. Should I put the Shadow Devil here too? And I may have beat that guy. Since this is the Wolf Pack round, I am. You know what? Okay, let's take out that that Hell Knight. Yeah, I mean I should be okay here. Yeah, and I'm I'm at 50 gold. This is the Wolf Pack round. I'm not facing a player, so I don't need to reroll for anything. Ooh, I may actually end up losing here. Yeah, I'll probably end up losing here. I probably should have used the tank unit units, but I don't really have tanky units. Really. 
I don't really have tanky units with this unit build composition. So that's not happening. And my Soul Reaper, unfortunately, will not be able to take out one of those extra wolves. I could have got more items. That's unfortunate. This is a great round to get, you know, not free items, I guess. You have to kill the wolves to get the items. But that is fine. That is fine. I could have re-rolled, but you know what? I I'm going to chill with this. Another Frost Knight! Guess what, guys? We have three two-star Frost Knights. Boom! We got the ultimate three-star Frost Knight. That is what I wanted. And I'm going to start re-rolling. I have 60 gold. Oh, that's another defector. Then we got a two-star defector. That is what we wanted. Can we get a Soul Reaper? No, we got another defector. Okay, I'll take that. At least those weren't worthless rounds. Hopefully I didn't miss any Gersus Rangers while I was talking too much there. Okay, I just put a 17 on the board, but I just negated my own own demon effect because um, I have a Shadow Devil and the Hell Knight. <laughs> so that probably wasn't the smartest idea, but I just kind of ran out of time there. And can I beat this guy? He has a 3-star Stone Spirit. No, I'm going to end up losing to this guy. His units are just too tanky. Okay, that didn't work out very well. That didn't work out very well. I'm just trying so hard to keep myself at 50 gold to maximize my income. I mean, I have a ton of health. I still have 72 health because I was winning so hard in the beginning, so I'm not really too concerned. Another defector, that's nice. Can we get the other guys? Desperate Doctor, that's another Glacier unit. And that's a Warlock, so this is exactly why I'm going for Warlocks and Glaciers. Now I get the Warlock bonus. Sweet. Okay, that's that's really nice. Um, not buying anyone else. I was thinking about going for Warriors, but I don't think so. I think we're going to go with Igursus, Warlock, and Glaciers. That's what we're going to go for. That's, that's going to be our unit composition here. It's very strong, and trust me, it's strong. They're actually not very good early game, I would say. But the late game, just wait guys. Once I get the Berserker, that's the final Glacier unit. Once I have four out of four Glacier units, I'll show you guys here. Look, this. If, once you have four different Glacier units, all allies have 35% attack speed. So it's not just the Glacier units that get 35% attack speed. Every single unit in your team gets it. So, so your army becomes super strong. They attack super fast. And you're just going to rip through everybody. It's crazy just how good it is. Got another Hell Knight. Wait, do I need a Hell Knight? No, no, no. I don't need a Hell Knight. Why did I buy that? The Poisonous Worm, by the way, is also a Warlock unit. But... I don't want to go for beasts right now. I bought an extra Hell Knight. For no reason. Doesn't really matter. Because I'm already at 50 gold. I'm going to be getting the maximum amount of income every turn anyways. Because you can't get more than 50 gold. Would really like to get some more Soul Reapers though. And I'm going to beat this guy. Because his dwarf. One star isn't going to beat a two star Gersus Ranger. Heck yeah. This team is so good, guys. The the Gersis. I want to say undead every time when I say Gersis, but uh, in this game they're not called undead. They're called the Gersis, which I don't. I'm not a fan of that word. They could have chosen a better word. And we got the final piece, the Berserker. This is the final Glacier unit. Now all my units will get the 35% attack speed bonus. Just watch. But who do I kick out? Who do I kick out? Do I kick out the Gersis? No. Damn, I just lost the Warlock bonus because I took out the Soul Reaper. I don't want to take out my Gersus though. But look at how fast all my units are attacking. Look at how fast the Berserker attacks. Do you see this guy just throwing axes? I still lost this round. I think I should take out the Gersus. It doesn't make sense for me to have the Gersus right now. Until I, get, until I hit level 8 and get an extra unit spot. I could spend all my gold to level myself up, but... I want to sell these ridiculous Hell Knights. I don't need these guys. This round is the Lethal Ursa. It's a neutral round, so I'm actually not going to buy anyone. I'm pretty confident I will win this round here. And I'm going to use my... I'm going to actually level myself up. 
get ready for the next round. Now, yeah, I'm gonna sit here at level seven, 23 out of 24. So next round, I'll get one more point, become level seven to eight. Um, I don't know what to take out, man. I wanna put my Soul Reaper, but I can't take out the Shadow Devil. It's a two-star demon, very strong. Hopefully I get to, I, I should be able to beat the lethal, lethal Ursas. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm very unlucky with the items this round. I can combine this to get the Orb of Regen. This item is really good for um, units that want to use active skills frequently because you get mana regeneration and you get nice health regeneration on the side. Okay, perfect. Now I'm, I'm level 8. That's what I wanted to do. That's why I spent all my gold for that last turn. I'm going to start re-rolling. Got another Evil Knight. Got another Shadow Devil. Desperate Doctor. And we're going to bring back the Soul Reaper, of course. Yep. And I guess we're going to keep it this way. Really would like to get another Evil Knight. I'm getting very unlucky with the Evil Knights. Normally, it's not too hard to find Evil Knights. But, oh well. But I got the full Warlock combo going on. I have the Knight combo. I've got the Gersus. And I've got the 4 out of 4 Glacier. 35% attack speed to every single unit on your team bonus. So I should be able to fly easily throughout these games here. I think I should be able to come out on top eventually. Become number 1 at the end of the game. But um, those 3 guys on the top are doing pretty good. I have to say. Gulag, El Hale, and Sibley. They're doing good, but we're gonna we're gonna start catching up. Like I said, this it, this undead glacier combo is a very strong late game composition. Not as good in the early game. I'm tempted to buy that poisonous worm actually because it is a warlock unit, and even that Venomancer. That's another warlock unit. I just realized. Um, the Venomancer is a good tank, but we're not gonna do that. I guess oh, got another Soul Reaper, got another Shadow Devil. Should I reroll again? No, I guess we won't. I guess we won't reroll again. And yeah, I guess we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. This guy's the full-on warrior combo guy. Let's see if we can beat him. Might be able to beat this guy this time. Last time I couldn't beat him, but can we do it? Can we do it? No, I guess not. We're still going to lose. Oh no, wait, hold on. My desperate doctor lived. I thought he died. He got thrown in the air by that stone spirit. Ooh, yeah, we barely lost. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, he just had this guy, one berserker. I'm telling you guys, this berserker, he has the frantic mask. No wonder he pulled through. The frantic mask is an amazing item on the berserker. The Berserker likes to attack really fast. So the fact that he had the Frantic Mask, which gives you extra attack speed on life, life steal, makes the Berserker really strong. I should use my items too, actually. The Blight Sorcerer, that is another undead Egersus unit. I want to make room for the Egersus, the final combo, the Blight Sorcerer. But I have to kick someone out. Oh no, who do I kick out? I can't kick anyone out. I can't. I can't kick anyone out! I had to put the Blight Sorcerer back on the bench, but I had the full 4 out of 4 combo, so all enemies would have minus 6 armor. Oh god. Well, that's unfortunate. But I think the only problem so far is that I'm not getting the third Soul Reaper, so I can get a 2 star Soul Reaper, and I'm not getting the third Evil Knight. Definitely getting those two units 2 stars would have probably won me this round. And the last round. It's really unfortunate. Sometimes you just get really unlucky. That's another Egersus Ranger. Okay, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just re-roll. Oh, got another Defector. So we got another 2-star Defector. I guess I'll buy another Shadow Devil just in case I get two more. Okay, yep. I'm just gonna re-roll really fast. Got another Berserker, man? Oh my god, I don't have space for that. Okay, I better put the Defector back. I'm gonna sell my Gersus Ranger. I'm gonna try to get my Shadow Devil to 3 stars. I'll, I need to buy the Berserker, because this unit, I have to get it to 2 stars. The Berserker is the best Glacier unit. Definitely don't want to lose that. And it's an epic unit, so it's hard to find. 
And once again, I'm gonna lose this round. Aren't I? Just wait until I get my two stars, okay? And my three stars unit. Three star units. You guys will see the power. You guys will see the power of the glaciers and the gurses. Perfect. Got the sh final piece to the Shadow Devil. You guys know what that means. We got three two star Shadow Devils. We got the three star crazy Shadow Devil, man. And this is a neutral round, so. I guess I'll chill for a bit. No, should I reroll? Okay, I'll just reroll until I have like 40 gold. Nope, this is all junk. All junk. So with the with my new three star shadow devil, I should be fine. Releases 10 demonic energy waves and each of which deals 250 damage to enemy units in the path. Pretty good. Pretty good unit. The shadow devil does a ton of damage, a ton of magic damage as well. Oh, do it, can I build a frantic mask? Nope, it's going to be the... Huh. I guess this, the dagger and the bone claw. Hold on, I'm going to buy the units here. I'll buy the defector here. Okay, I'm going to re-roll. Oh, one more defector. I got a three-star. Three-star defector. Finally got the third of evil knight. That just took forever, huh? Ooh, got a third berserker as well. Two-star berserker. That was a good reroll there, but finally we got a two star. Dang it. Give it to the Berserker. So I basically made the crystal sword out of the dagger and the broken sword, whatever the bone claws. Attack damage increased by 15, grants 15% 15 chance to deal 1.5 times of damage while attack. Great for the Berserker. The Berserker is a key player in the glaciers, just to tell you guys. I would highly recommend you give all attack damage items to this Berserker unit if you're going for the Glacier build because your Glacier is going to just tear through guys. The Berserker is so scary. It's such a scary unit when it gets out of control. I'm telling you guys, just give all your attack items to this guy right here, the Berserker. It's, it's such a crazy Glacier unit. Perfect. Another Glacier. Another Berserker. I didn't say, I said Glacier, didn't I? Buy another evil knight for now, I guess. I guess I'm going to keep re-rolling. Got another desperate doctor. Oh, hold on. Got a defector, which means a three-star defector incoming, lads. Perfect. No, don't want any of these guys. I want to give this to my defector. Actually... I shouldn't have given my orb of regen to my defector, but I want to spam this penguin ability as much as I can. That's why I kind of gave it to him. <laughs> but you know what? I certainly could have given it to a better unit. No, I should have given it to my Soul Reaper. The Soul Reaper, Soul Reaper's Heartstopper Pulse has way lower cooldown. It's five seconds. The penguin, the hex ability from the defector is eight seconds. So that means my Soul Reaper would regen mana faster with that item. And be able to spam spam his three second ability really really often. So I made a mistake there. Actually, I should have given it to my Soul Reaper. Any mana regen item like this, give it to a unit that has very low cooldowns. So you can spam it as much as you want. Perfect. We got a two star Soul Reaper. I'm still looking for a spot for my Evil Knight. Maybe I should take out my... No, I can't take out my Desperate Doctor. If I take out my Desperate Doctor, then I lose the the Glacier Bonus. And the Glacier Bonus is is really good. I don't want to lose it. But I'm just absolutely ripping through these guys, man. I'm going to sell the Evil Knight. I want to sell the Evil Knight for now. That might have been a mistake, but I don't see myself getting a three-star evil knight anytime soon because my luck with the evil knights and the gurses rangers are just freaking awesome this game because i really am not getting any undead units okay let's uh, do i re-roll or do i save my gold i think i will save my gold yes i will save my gold I will save my gold. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to save my gold. 
I want to give the wooden club to my berserker. Remember, I'm just giving all my attack damage items to the berserker because my berserker attacks crazy fast. He does so much damage. This guy has the annoying pirate ship. Just gonna stun two of my three of my units, I think. Just about three units there. Oh man, this team is so good, guys. This warlock, glacier, egorsis, undead combo is just like wrecking everybody, man. I seriously think this combo can never go wrong. It's just hard to pull off because these units are pretty hard to find. Okay, Desperate Doctor, perfect. We got a two-star Desperate Doctor, exactly what I wanted. And... This is the mana regen item, so I'm going to give that to my Soul Reaper. Because my Soul Reaper, once again, has a very low cooldown, and that's something I, I mentioned earlier. I guess I'll buy a Soul Reaper here, buy an Adrosa Stranger, just in case I need them. But yeah, I like the way I've distributed my items, except for... I wish I had given this item still, Orb of Regen, to my Soul Reaper. So my Soul Reaper just constantly spams his 5-second uh, Heartstopper Pulse. 175 magical damage to enemy units and 150 healing to your allied units and 3 radius. So the Soul Reaper can heal your units constantly, non-stop. Just imagine that. Spamming that thing like every 5 seconds. It would be crazy. Okay. Um, do I level myself up or do I reroll? This is always the tricky part. First of all, first of all I'm going to combine this item for the Soul Reaper. This is a really nice item, it's a staff. That's gonna really help my Soul Reaper out in terms of magic damage. I can either reroll or save my bank. And I think I'll save. I don't see myself losing, really. I'm tempted to put the Blight Sorcerer instead of the Agursus Ranger, actually. I think I'll be winning a lot at this point because this combination that I have right now and the items that I put on my units, I've done very well for myself with what I have. Yeah, like, these guys are not even close. I'm on a 5 win streak right now. These guys are not even close to beating me. Like, look at how many units survived. And I'm number one now. So, just as I predicted, this team is so good that, like, I know I'm just gonna win. And I might as well just level myself up. I'm going to use some points on the experience. I want to try to get to level 9. So I can find better units as well. Yeah, I'll just wait here. No, actually I'll level myself up. I'll put the final Agursus unit, the Blight Sorcerer. Yeah, let's do that. So now I have the full 4 out of 4 Agursus bonus. All enemy units have minus 6 armor. That means I can shred these guys really quick with physical damage, but this guy has magic resistance, so he doesn't take as much damage to magic magic damage, but it doesn't matter when my Berserker and any other physical unit can shred through everybody like the Gersus Ranger. Look at how fast everyone just died. They have minus 6 armor, so they take way more damage to you know auto attacks and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I don't want any of these units. These are crummy. I can save my gold or I can reroll. I don't even need to really re-roll, I guess. My team is very strong, guys. It's very strong. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna re-roll. Alright, nope, I'm not re-rolling anymore. That was just terrible luck. I'll keep myself at 30 gold. I should be able to beat these guys anyways. Yeah. I shouldn't have any problem. This guy has all knights. Doesn't matter, because my Glacier... The knight combo is really strong, but my combina my combo is way stronger, in my opinion. The undead glaciers, man. Egersus... Egersus is the same as undead. I keep saying Egersus is undead, but this Egersus um, glacier combo is just crazy good. I'm, I'm definitely hitting Bishop after this game, guys. This is an easy game. There you go, guys. Just use this strategy every game, and it's, it's going to be an easy Bishop. Easy pawn to bishop. Climbing. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll re-roll. Re-roll. Another desperate doctor. The blight sorcerer again. So I'll buy that. Just one more blight sorcerer and I am good to go. 
for a two star blight sorcerer. All right. Although this blight sorcerer unit, just to let you guys know, is probably the worst legendary unit in the game. I don't think he does like a lot of damage at all. Even his blighted orb that bounces like six times with its magical damage doesn't do much. I mean, he does a lot, but I think I think the blighted you don't really need the Blight Sorcerer. The only reason I have it is because I want the full 4 out of 4 undead minus 6 armor bonus, which is really good. That's the bonus I'm going for. So you do have to have all undead units no matter what. So the Blighted Sorcerer or the Blighted... What is, what is his name again? Blighted Sorcerer? Yeah, the Blight Sorcerer, is. you do need it. Oh god, this unit is so good. The, the Devastator. This unit is really good. It's a Golem Mech. It's not part of my co combo, but I'm just gonna buy it in case you know if something goes wrong. This unit is just is 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 too good, man. His bomb, so he plants a bomb in the middle of the map, and then it just blows up and like kills everybody in that in a huge radius. That's how crazy this guy is. Even at one star, this guy is good. The Devastator is probably one of the single yeah one of the best legendary units in the game. No question about that. Okay, I'm just gonna keep giving extra attack damage to my Berserker because <laughs> my Berserker is crazy good right now. No kidding. Another Devastator. All right, come on. If I can, if I can get a Devastator at two, um, like if I can get get it at two stars, that's already good enough. I guess I'll buy the Evil Knight as well. Actually, should I put my Devastator in the front? You guys want to see it? You guys want to see it in action? No, I can't. I can't because I have such a nice synergy going on here. I don't want to... If I take off one of these guys, I'm going to lose a bonus. I'm going to lose any... Like a, a Demon bonus, I'll lose a Knight bonus, I'll lose a Warlock bonus, I'll lose a Glacier bonus, I'll lose the Egersus bonus, I'll lose one of those bonuses. And it looks like I'm actually going to end up losing this round. No, 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 I'm not losing this round. Okay. No, this was a very close round, though. I mean, it looks like it wasn't that much of a close round, but it was. This round is, believe it or not, I could have lost this round. I actually could have lost to this guy. Uh, there's three of us in the game. I still have a ton of health. A helicopter. No, we're not getting the helicopter. We got the final piece to the Blight Sorcerer. So we got the two star Blight Sorcerer, that's cool. Did his cooldown go down? Yeah, his Blighted Orb cooldown went down. Let's get another Desperate Doctor. Okay. That's good. That is good. And we should be able to beat this guy easily. As well, just with every like, I mean, I've been winning the last, I've been winning the last ten rounds, I believe. I'm I'm on a win streak, right? I'm not even really paying attention anymore. Yeah, like look at how easy these games are. There we go. Oh, now this is a tenth win streak. This is a tenth win streak, y'all. So there's only one more guy I have to beat. His name is L Hale. He has 16 health. He really has one more chance if he. If he does not win this round, it's pretty much over. I didn't even use these items. Man. Well, I guess I'll use these items now. Who do I give the health regen to? Let's give it to the Berserker or the Soul Reaper. No, I'm going to give it to the Soul Reaper. The Soul Reaper healing my units is pretty good. I like that. I like that. I guess I'm just going to win like this. I didn't even need to get three stars on everybody. I mean, we'll see. Maybe I won't beat this guy. Which I don't think will happen. I'm pretty sure I'll beat this guy here. Yeah, that was easy. Not even a, not even a challenge. Bye-bye. Oh, he has one health? Come on, man. <laughs> that should have been the last round there. Come on. What's the point? What's the point of staying in the game? It's over, buddy. It's over. Okay, I guess I'm just going to spam my... Oh, we got a two-star Devastator. You guys want some fun Devastator action? Overkill? Alright. I'm gonna put him in the front. This is what you do with a Devastator, okay? It's a Kamikaze. He's gonna, you're gonna see him put the delayed action bomb. It's a Kamikaze unit. Who do I take out? The Shadow Devil? I'm gonna take out the Shadow Devil. 
Okay, watch this. Watch, watch the Devastator, guys. It's gonna plant- it planted a bomb right there in the middle. You see this? Look at how much damage it does. Oh my god, it just chunked out of- did you, If you guys saw that, like, all of his units got their health chunked. That's how strong that Devastator is, man. I call it the Kamikaze Bomber. And trust me, once you have one of those guys and you put it right in the front, it's, it's a win. Yeah, there you go, guys. It is Bishop 1 time. Night 9 to Bishop 1. So, look at that. Whoa. I'm already on my way to Bishop 2 in the next game, pretty much. Easy first place. This combination is super good. Look at that. 31 wins, 8 loss. And yeah, there were, there were a couple bishop players here mixed in with knights. But there you go, guys. If you go with the Gersis, which are the undead units, and the Glaciers, you can never go wrong. Those two units combination late game is super strong. And with the Berserker unit, which is the strongest Glacier unit, if you give them all, the, all your attack items, you're going to just shred through everybody. It's crazy how good this composition is. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely try this combo out. Trust me, you'll probably win like every single game if you can pull it off. If you can if you can survive to the late game, you're winning. Okay, there's like no doubt about it. Like I didn't even have to try from even the mid mid late game. Like I wasn't even trying. I was just putting units on the board and I was pretty much wrecking everybody no matter what. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video one more time. Just as always, remember to uh, subscribe and hit that like button if you still haven't. And I'll see you guys next time.